Hey, Shani's here from World of Platinum Pink. I wanted to come on really quickly just to show you the new style that I'm going to attempt to do today. Um, I've been looking on YouTube quite frequently lately for a new hairstyle. I was getting ready, I'm getting a little bit tired of wearing my custom wigs. I've been wearing a wig for about four years straight now. You know, every so often I take it off and do some braids. Like some of the least twist or kinky twist or micros. Oh, so I just wanted to try something different other than a wig. So I've been scouring YouTube very religiously for a new hairstyle. So I've looked and I found that I'm going to do crochet braids. Now, the most common crochet braids that I've seen were the Marley braid ones. And I attempted those. However, I used my Afro Kinky Curly hair that I have on Royal Pen of Pink, which is 100% human hair. And it came out pretty, but just not me. Like, I'm used to straight hairstyles, like real relaxed, straight hairstyles or some type of curl hairstyle. So that hair wasn't for me. I will insert a picture or two to show you what it looks like here. But that hairstyle wasn't for me, so I scoured the um, let my dog out. Uh, I scoured YouTube again for other hairstyles. I wanted something wavy, something curly. Like I seen go go curl. I seen deep twist. I seen uh, all kinds of stuff. Romance curl, paradise curl, all these kinds of curls that were like really really curly. Which is something I like, but that's another thing I really wanted to do right now. I actually wanted to save that for a full lace wig that I'm creating for my birthday in January. So I didn't want to do that. So I wanted to do like a, a wig. So I was looking more on YouTube. Didn't see that many wavy, like loose deep wave, like a nice almost body wave, but a little more wavier than that. And I haven't found any videos, so I'm going to do one just showing you, just showing the progress. I'm not going to show you how to do crochet braids because there are tons of videos on YouTube that have good tutorials on how to do crochet braids. I'm just going to show you the type of hair that I'm using and what it looks like when it's complete because I don't see any videos on YouTube with this type of hair that I have. So, I use a virgin wolf hair this time because I felt that because of the hair that I just used, the African curly that's on my website, that's virgin hair, I wasted it because I only had my hair in for four days. So I don't wanna use high quality hair to end up wasting it because I don't like the quality, because I don't like the way the hair looks on me. So, the hair that I did purchase was the Free Truth brand that you see all over YouTube. It's um, the Free Truth braid and loose deep bulk. It's 28, 24 inches and I got it in a 1B. And I also got a pack that's 1B and 27 mixed together. I'm gonna add that as a highlight. However, it, I don't know where, but let me take it off the pack. It, this pack right here I've actually been playing with. This is not really like the true curl. Like the curl it looks much different after you when you first get it. But this is the wave. I've been running my fingers through it for about two days now. <laughs> um so, 24 inches is very long, so if I start in the back, it's going to come down to my belly button. I'm 5'7", so I don't know if I want to do this long or one. But we'll see. But I purchased five packs. Um, it cost me $4.99 in my local beauty supply store. Bought five packs. Hopefully that's enough. I got a huge head. If not, I have to just run back to the store tomorrow morning or whenever I even attempt to do this. Um, hair 
and get this is in between a really wavy and the and a not so wavy and it's not curly like most of the styles you see on YouTube and it's not the Marley gray hair that I tried. So I'm going to do start my hair and I'm going to come back periodically just to show you guys. All right, my so progress. I'm back. I'm done the one pack of hair, the free trip hair. Um, this is the texture of it. You probably can't see it, but I don't know. Um, maybe I'm just biased because I sell my own hair, but so far this hair is shit, like crap. Like, I don't know because I was already playing with it in the pack or whatever, but one is too silky. So it's like, I gotta like quadruple knot it in order for it to stay the hell on. Like, let me show you the back. Like, I gotta like quadruple knot it. And this is how the hair looks at the end. Like, it looks cute. Like the actual curl pattern is cute, but look. My finger stuck. Do it again. On the top, finger stuff. Come down. And look at all these scragglies at the end. So the hair quality is definitely not what I'm used to, but I only paid five hours a pack for this hair, so I really can't do too much complaining. I'm sitting here trying to comb it out now just to make it look like something. I don't know, like, I mean, I'm not gonna waste my money. I am going to do the whole hair head, but I'm not even excited about it anymore like I was. Firstly, because the hair is too silky. I don't even think the damn braids are going to stay in because like, I got to do so many knots and the knots are coming loose. Like You're not unraveling, but the knots are not as tight as they were when I first put the the lash look through. So I don't know. But I'm gonna come back um, when I finish another pack of hair. Just to show you. Oh, I wanted to show you. This is horrible. This is the hair that came out using this pack. And I, I'm a professional stylist, so I know how to handle hair. This is ridiculous. This is like another maybe 10, pieces of hair that I could use for my head. But when I was separating the hair and the hair getting tangled up and matting up and knocking out and knock, locking up, this is what I got. And then the ends are so effed up, I have to cut all this off. Looks a mess. So that's just my personal opinion. I'm sure it may just be me. It might not be as bad as I think it is, but I don't know, but I'm going to do another pack. This, is this took me approximately an hour and a half, only because I was watching TV, talking on the phone. And I really, really wasn't doing it. That, like, I wasn't really quick with it. And then I was trying to reinforce all the braids. I'm not trying to be walking down the street and one fall out and I'm thinking I'm cute. Anyway, I'm going to go back and do one more pack. Come back and show you my progress. Okay, so I am back with the finished look that I got here. Um, I started this on Thursday. What day was that? October 16th at like 10, 11 o'clock at night. And today it is now Sunday, October 19th. And I'm just finishing. It's about like... Mm, 8.30 at night. Uh, as you can see, it's short. When I first started, you know, I had the full pack, but I realized it was so nappy and so unmanageable being that long. I just decided to cut that um, pack in half, save on hair, and just do it short. Which now, as y'all know earlier, I was a little discouraged and didn't like the hair, but now I love it. The only thing is with this texture, it's very, 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 very silky hair. So I quadruple knotted this hair 
and it still came loose. So what I used to keep the knots in place was some um, Got To Be Glues Viking gel and some spritz. So it's not going anywhere right now. I'll show you up close. As you can see, these are very, very close together. Um, I use Got To Be Glued um, spiking gel. As you can see, it's very space far apart because of my uh, parts. I wasn't planning on having a middle part, but I think it's very cute middle part. But I do have the option to change it. Like I can do, you know, left side if I wanted to. I'm not really a left part type of girl, but I'm really feeling it on the left side. Like you, I can do left side, um, you know, back to the middle. I can also do, I got some bobby pins in here just to keep the, the part kind of closed. Um, I could also do, you know, right side part if I wanted to bring over this side. I think this side makes my forehead look bigger, but <laughs> that's just my opinion. But I can do right, the right side part, you know, I'll turn around the back so you can see it. It's very full hair. Um, like I said before, I used the free tris, uh loose deep bulk hair, 24 inches. Cut the packs in half. I bought five packs. I bought five before. I bought five packs. I bought four in the number one, and one in the number. I mean, four in number one B, and one in one B 30 mix. That's why you can see some of those blind pieces in there because I used that one pack. Um, Cut the packs in half. I used every piece of hair. So that's five packs. I really only, when I first came to you guys, I used two packs of hair whole. So I didn't cut those in half. So I really just used three packs cut in half. So next time I do this, I'm definitely cutting the packs in half. Uh, what else can I say about this hair? It's really nice. So I've, I've had it in for like what is it like eight something now on Sunday I had it in I didn't really think I was going to enjoy the hair I thought it was going to be not for me nappy because you know it's synthetic hair but so far so good but then again this is only day you might as well just say this is day three since I've had this hair right here in since Thursday and as you can see I can still run my fingers through it it's really bouncy it's still keeping this texture so that's a good thing I was afraid of that but um, here's the finished product. It's really, really full. I'm not going to wear this hair up since this is heat safe up to 400 degrees. When it gets a little bit older and the curls start to fall and not look so attractive, I will attempt to flat iron this hair using my flat irons and probably only have it up to about 385 degrees just to see how old flat iron but it's probably about for another three weeks so here's what I'm like on the side here fully up the other side this side I didn't really braid it down all the way like I should have but 